Chrissy Teen Tegan. A Very Sinking Narcissist, Part 8. I continue with the analysis of the Twitter behaviour, responses, tweets, etc. to help you understand more about the narcissistic dynamic, generally, and also specifically, with regard to Chrissy Teigen Tegan. This is taken from an article from Global News, written by Katie Scott, from last year. And I'd reached the point whereby Chrissy Teigen Tegan was announcing, in typical narcissistic style, that she had blockchained over one million people. And then she was bleating and calling on Twitter as part of provocation and pity play to ensure that Twitter helped stop the harassment that she'd been receiving because she is a hypocrite and also important. She wrote, I have a family and job and there are too many to target. She wrote, I've tried everything. Every lawyer says it will take many years and not change a fucking thing because they will always be crazy. Projection, blame shifting, blindness. She continued, they have no idea how hard this is to cope with. Pity play, self-absorption, failure to recognise own behaviours impacting upon other people. Hypocrite. They won't stop until I die. I'm convinced of it. Melodrama, martyrdom, pity play. And even then they'll think of another conspiracy. The claims against Tegan Tegan began when far-right group QAnon, which is known for spreading conspiracy theories, began to accuse her and her husband, John Legend, of being connected to Epstein and Maxwell. Like someone, there is a chicken scratch list of with Epstein flight logs and wrote down John and Chrissy, and now they all believe this. Tegan tweeted on October the 24th, 2019. Of course, because she is not very bright and because her narcissism doesn't operate in a particularly evolved manner, all she does is give added credence and publicity to the allegations by fucking tweeting about them. And this demonstrates the compartmentalised nature of her narcissism, whereby it operates in the moment with no concern for collateral consequence, and exemplifies how the satellite dish-faced idiot behaves. Tegan Tegan took to Twitter again this week, this is back in 2020, to explain why she blocked so many people on the social media platform, writing, Every time I post food, some QAnon loser asks if it contains baby. Well, good on you, QAnon, because that's actually quite amusing. And here's the thing, Tegan Tegan. You put yourself out there, lapping up the fuel, although you don't realise that's what you're doing, you are going to have detractors. I have detractors. Epsilon semi-morons come on my channel and occasionally give me some shit. I largely find it entertaining, because it demonstrates, of course, that I matter. And even though it's negative in nature it's still a little dollop of fuel, and they move to comment upon me. And all I need do is I either correct them where they're inaccurate, or I just ignore them. What I don't do is go on and on and on about it. And of course, you, Tegan Tegan, do that because it's a pity play, you need to provoke, and you need to assert control indirectly by banging on about the fact that someone rather entertainingly asks you if your food contains baby. And you brought that on yourself. You brought that on yourself because of the nature of your tweets. But of course, your narcissism blinds you to that. You are incapable of seeing that you're being hoisted by your own petard. You are unable to understand that. And for those of you who want to understand what hoist by your own petard means, it comes from medieval times where a petard was a kind of bomb and it meant that the person carrying the bomb blew themselves up. And so you were hoisted, which used to mean basically thrown in the air uh, by your own bomb. So basically, you get caught up and fuck up on the basis of your own behaviour, which of course many narcissists do where they are from the lower evolved orders. Tegan Tegan continued, I'm honestly just going to start posting things to drive them even more batshit insane. Provocation, assertion of control in the moment, inability to see collateral consequence, also, like, was I on the island? Do I eat babies? Or just put them on my skin? Or I'm a pedo? Like, I'm everything. Pick a lane, she added. QAnon, the article explains, is a right-wing conspiracy theory group centred on the belief that Donald Trump is waging a secret campaign against enemies in the deep state and a child sex trafficking ring run by satanic paedophiles and cannibals. For more than two years, followers have poured over a tangled set of clues purportedly posted online by a high-ranking government official known only as Q. 
In March, the group said that Oprah Winfrey had been arrested on sex trafficking charges and her home had been raided by police. Winfrey denied the rumours from QAnon. Tegan Tegan also tried to reason with the QAnon believers on Twitter, writing, If we want to play with your lie just for fun, do you understand that if I were on the flight for the date of this manifest, I'd be a victim? And that's a brilliant example of her narcissism in action once again. Rather than assert control by withdrawal and not engage, she's moved to do so. And she tries to outmaneuver them by doing what? Playing the victim. Something that Chrissy Teigen Tegan does repeatedly as a consequence of her narcissism. In another tweet, Teigen Tegan wrote, When pedo Ghislaine Maxwell sings like a canary, if she doesn't die, and we have nothing to do with this, I know for a fact it won't go away. They'll just think of another excuse. It is extremely disheartening. I don't know how to stop this. I don't think anyone quite gets it. Well, you certainly don't, you epsilon semi-moron. You'd have thought with a head as large as yours, there might be some brains in there that would operate to assist you. But clearly they don't. And that's because your narcissism functions in a particular way. And that is, you don't get it because you're blinded to it. If you stop talking about it, you wouldn't then give people targets to aim at. But you can't help it because you have to assert control and you have to draw fuel. The article continues, Tegan Tegan made her Twitter account private following all the harassment she has been receiving. Assertion of control by withdrawal. Maxwell pleaded not guilty in federal court in Manhattan on Tuesday at a hearing in which women were accusing her of enabling their abuse gave statements denouncing her heinous crimes. US District Judge Alison Nathan in Manhattan presided over the arraignment and bail hearing for Maxwell, who prosecutors have accused of helping Epstein recruit and eventually abuse girls as young as 14 from 1994 to 1997, and lying about her role in depositions in 2016. The judge was expected to rule on whether to grant bail. Nathan also scheduled a trial date for July the 12th, 2021. Maxwell, 58, was charged with six criminal counts, including four related to transporting minors for illegal sexual acts and two for perjury. Prosecutors argued at the hearing against Maxwell's bid for bail, describing her as an extreme flight risk. Now, I've not got into the body of specific tweets. And if any of you want to provide me with links to those so that I can analyse them on your behalf, do feel free to email me, narcissus1909 at gmail.com, and I'll incorporate that into further work. But the purpose of these two parts was to demonstrate her behaviour back in 2020 with regard to the allegations that she was involved in Epstein, of which I've not seen any firm evidence. But nevertheless, that amounts to a threat to her control and causes her to respond in a particular way. But it also provides you, dear listeners, with a very good opportunity of seeing this lower echelon narcissist, seeing how her behaviour operates, that the almost the instinctive response to the threats of control cause her to go on the warpath, to respond with ignited fury, to engage in behaviours which result in collateral consequences, but of course she can't see that because her narcissism won't allow her to. And it's all very instructive. In part nine, we come back up to date because, of course, she, like Harry's wife, is a gift that can't stop giving and provides us with further interesting analysis about narcissism in action. Join me there and be ready for some entertainment. <laughs>